Hey guys, Jason with CV Custom. So on our last uh, video, we got the engine out, front clip off, <clears throat> uh, transmission as well, so that now we can start mocking up our new engine. My goal is to get to know where I'm gonna put my motor mounts, my transmission mount, so I can get the cab and front clip all off to, to the painter. He's gonna do all the body work and stuff. He'll separate the front clip. I need it all in one piece because I gotta make sure everything fits right. So we'll get the engine where I think it needs to be. We'll set that front clip back on. Um, but to start, we gotta go get the engine mated to the T5 because we're using the 3.0 Mercedes. So that's where we're gonna start. We'll go take a look at the engine and the transmission and how we're gonna put it together. All right guys, so we're gonna start by taking a look at the, the T5. The box over there is the adapter. I'm gonna go over what's going on here. So this T5, like we said, came out of a Mustang, which means it's got a Ford bell housing. You see the tall peak? Now, normally you can get the Ford adapter for the Mercedes, but right now everything's out of stock and can't really get it. So what I came up with was I had stacks of the AMC bell housings because I mainly, you know, started out doing Jeeps. So <clears throat> we unbolted the bell housing for the, uh, for the Ford and we measured the decks. There is a quarter inch difference. So this is a quarter inch shorter than this one is. Not a big deal. There's ways to get around that. And we'll go over that when it's actually time to mate the engine permanently. For the purpose of what we're doing here, all we got to do is get this transmission bolted to the Mercedes so that we can check our motor mounts and transmission mount. So, another thing we ran into. This is the AMC. See how round it is? This, this uh, Mercedes is a very popular upgrade for the AMCs or, or just Jeep in general. A lot of people are putting these 3.0s in their Jeeps. So getting the adapter to go to an AMC was very easy. Easy to get my hands on. Sorry guys, had to sneeze. Okay, so the other thing I ran into. So we know this is a quarter inch shorter. The pilot for the, for the end shaft, you can see it right here, it's a few thousandths off. So all we're gonna do is unbolt. Uh, let me turn you a little bit, there we go. We're just going to unbolt this, we're going to chuck it up in the lathe, and we're going to turn it down. But again, we're not trying to do that right now. What we're trying to do today is get this mounted to the, to the Mercedes so we can check fitment. So for now, I'll just remove this. The shaft being loose isn't going to be a big deal. And then we'll chuck it up and we'll get it right in another video. This video is about the mounts. So we're going to open up our uh, adapter kit, get the Mercedes over here, start putting things together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean the threads because this thing's been sitting on the shelf for a while. And this is standard instead of metric. That had metric bolts, so we can't use the bolts that came out of it. Um, I kind of think they're 7 16 but they could be half inch. So I'll figure that out. I'll get this bolted to this engine. And then we'll go over the adapter plates and all that fun stuff. And again, because we use the AMC, there's going to be some AMC parts that are required. So this thing's going to have a little bit of a Jeep thing to it too. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get on that. We'll get the Mercedes and we'll check that out next. Okay, so I clean the threads. Use a real simple step. I spray it with the brake parts cleaner to clean all the debris out. Then a little bit of penetrating oil because I'm not cutting the threads, I'm just cleaning them. Penetrating oil works fine. So the threads are, are clean. Um, I didn't really worry about getting all four bolts. I just need it in place. And then I removed pilot housing on the transmission. You can see how it doesn't fit. This uh, pilot guides this thing on, so everything's square. You can see on the Ford how there's no play. It just goes on just right. So, like I said, we'll chuck it up. We'll turn this down just a little bit. You can see we got a lot of meat, and we're only talking about a few thousand, so not really worried about it. That's for another video. Now it's out of the way. The shaft on the transmission, let's see if I can get you guys down here. It can't come out, but we can lose oil, but we're going to rebuild this anyways. So I'm just going to put some paper in there, you know, like paper towel to keep stuff out and uh, we'll address the rest of the transmission issues when we get to the next step. But now this thing will be ready and we'll get the Mercedes and start uh, looking at our adapter stuff. 
All right, guys, here's the uh, 3.0. Now, there's a lot of stuff on this engine that we're actually going to remove. I think they've got an oil filter relocation kit. I, I don't know. There's there's a lot of stuff we don't really need. Not going to use that AC compressor. We will put AC in it, but it's not going to be that one. Um, it's been on the rack for a while. But uh, when it's time, we'll get her all rebuilt. It's got a really cool valve cover. I've seen a lot of people paint the valve cover to match their vehicle. Probably going to do that as well possibly intercool it there's a way to clock this and do some different things there's also different kits we can get so we'll see about that right now like i said the chain's still on it so we'll just hoist it up and start with the adapters all right so i got the engine floating on the a-frame behind me here i might have been better off if i opened this up a little sooner to make sure everything was here well, let's move it back in the picture for you See what we got. Okay. Alrighty then. Looks like it comes with the plate that we needed. Perfect. Ooh. You can see the rounded edge. Just, that's going to fit our AMC. So that's cool. This will be our hub to go to the crank. And this will attach to the AMC flywheel that we're going to need. Now also this pilot is probably going to be a, a little bit off because we're, we've got a Ford. So I'm probably going to have to make a new pilot bearing. We'll get to that when we need to. Right now, we don't even have to put the hub on. Right now, we just got to put this plate on so we can put the transmission on for our project today. But, looks like we got all the hardware we need here. So, I'm going to go ahead and just get this plate, this guy, bolted onto the uh, Mercedes. And then we'll move the table around so we can get the transmission to slide up to it. We'll bolt it on so we can pick it up, set it in the truck, and see where we're going to be. I mean, it sounds good as a plan. Um, another thing, we're also going to have to use an AMC starter because we're using the AMC flywheel and all that fun stuff to that bell housing. So we've kind of mixed some things up. But AMC never had... This T5, which is the better T5, so we're changing things, but we're getting a better transmission, and we'll go at it that way. Okay, guys. Apparently, I can do a whole video just on this adapter plate system, but because we're not really going through the whole thing right now, we're just using this plate and not worried about the hub and the flywheel. We're just going to focus on what we're doing. Maybe we'll go over that a little more in depth when it's time right now. We just need this hooked up. When I'm doing... The, mating the transmission to the engine. This is generally the way I like to do it. I have my engine on the A-frame. I can move it around however I want. And my table is on casters, so I can make everything meet the way I want. And again, we're not going to put a bunch of bolts in it. We just need a, enough bolts in it so that we can lift it and set it in the truck. So, see how close I can get it here. Not too bad. Of course, we're gonna have to drill these holes out. Let's do that first. All right, guys, it wasn't hard at all. These three bolt holes, I had to drill out to 7 16 because it's like a an aluminum bell housing, man, it just zipped right through. These three bolts, will hold it on. That's all we're gonna worry about right now. So I'm gonna line it up and throw those three on. Okay, so we've successfully mated the T5 to the 3.0 Mercedes. Um, you can see, just put the three bolts in it. It's it, Again, it's just for mock-up. This is all going to get built when we're done, but we got to get it in the truck and see how it's going to fit. Throw the front clip on and all that fun stuff. So the next step, we're going to go get the forklift, push the truck back in, and then we'll start mating it up. Okay, guys, so you can see what we ran into. If you look at the cross member right there, there's no way our transmission is going to fit through that. So it is riveted on 
I'm just going to cut it out for right now. Sorry, guys. Allergies. Sneezing again. So, yeah. I'm just going to cut it out so we can get our transmission in there. And then when we're down to just frame, we'll do all the cleanup work. Now, I do understand that this whole steering arm is going away. There's a chance we're going to have to get rid of it to really make sure we know where we're at. But I'll get that cut up. I'll get that uh, shifting arm off. And we'll slide it in. Okay, guys, so I cut it, and I didn't really mention, a big reason why I wanted to cut it is it's tied into my pedal positions, and I do want to keep the stock look of the pedals, even though we are going to modify it because we're doing disc brakes and things like that, I need to know where my pedals are, so best case, just cut it out, put things where we want it, go from there. So now I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod here so you can watch us set it. I got... Uh, an extra set of hands, so we will see how this engine fits. A big thing I'm looking at is this uh, this V that the frame does on the 3.0 Mercedes. Let me get over here. You look at this oil pan. It is a goofy oil pan. So really what I need to know is how that's going to set there. That could honestly give me my measurement to where I don't really have to do a whole lot more. I get it as close in the V as I can and everything works fine. I don't know. So let me get you set up and we're going to set this thing in. All right, guys, we're rolling in. Wish us luck. You want to take that side over there? Oh, get on the A-frame. Ready? A-frame. A-frame. No. Stop pushing. You got to let mine come out. There we go. That's why we do it when it's not painted. grab a jack so we can tilt it up and we'll see how she fits okay so what we came up with we don't even need to put the front clip back on to see because we've got all of our clearance to the fender fender wells so that's fine but what we found is right here where the pen comes in if I keep this pen line level with this then the engine's going to be in the right spot and I'll get it as close as I can to this V section now the AC compressor, we're not using this one. I'm not worried about that. And the steering box we're changing, it's going to be outboard. It's going to be over here. So it's actually going to be out of our way. And I can do all of that with the cab off. So when I get this set and I get the new box in, we can see how we're going to mount our new AC compressor. It's going to be more of an, a universal style. So we don't have to worry about finding hard to find parts. Now, if you look at the cab, The output on this transmission is a lot lower than that other style transmission. The other style transmission was really high. We are going to have to actually raise this doghouse just a little bit, and we're going to have to cut this out. But the way I'm going to do it is I'll, I'll put my tube in here at the height I want. Once I have this mounted, I can measure from here right now to have my reference, and then I'll weld it in. That'll be done, and then we'll cut it out, and that'll keep all of our distances the same. So we're going to do that that way. So we can go ahead and get the cab off. We can get the engine mounted because we know where it needs to be in relationship to the front cross member. And then we can set the pitch of the transmission based on where it's going to meet the trans transfer case. And we have plenty of room for the transfer case. I was worried that it was going to be too close, but... In actuality, it looks like we're actually going to have to make a longer drive line. Um, because this transmission is a slip yoke transmission, 
We don't need the slip yoke on the drive line. The slip yoke will be in the transmission and it'll be a straight through shaft to the transfer case. Once all that stuff is done, then we'll rebuild the engine, the transmission, the transfer case. The new axles are gonna get rebuilt as we put them on. And yeah, we'll go from there. The nice thing is we're not gonna have to do a whole lot right here. This will still kind of be the same, but we'll end up trimming our kickboard or it, it's it's a plate of steel so it's not really a board anymore in the 50s but we'll end up trimming that to give us the new angle and then we'll just make it bolt down the same you'd never really notice the difference but this is going to be less flat have a little more of a tower to accommodate this transmission so okay another thing oh, sorry if you guys missed it but uh, another thing that we're gonna have to do is the oil filter this is our oil filter tower um, you can see how close it is to the firewall when we actually get the engine where it's going to set this is it's going to be too close and I don't want on this project to change the firewall we're going to clean up the firewall so it's it's not going to have any holes that we're not using all around it but I don't want to modify it so I'm going to do the oil filter relocation so with the oil filter relocation the new filter will actually be a screw on more traditional easy to get instead of the drop in um, it, it actually pulls a lot of this stuff off. It still, you still use your cooling lines, so you can still run your cooler, but there's a plate that goes on right here, and then I'll have a, a more traditional oil filter. So that'll work well. And then the engine should set with the, you see it's a little crooked right now because of the filter, but the Mercedes emblem should be about right here. And if you see that's right center, should be about right center when we get the engine all right. So the, the goal is to keep the engine centered to make it look really, really good when it's, when the project's done. So there you go. Like I said, uh, again, the reason we're not putting the front clip on is because everything on this engine is staying inside the frame and the fender wells on the, uh, the front clip, they come out right to the, the outside of the frame. So there's no reason for me to throw the clip on to see if it's gonna clear. And because this is setting back of this, it's also going to fit with the radiator assembly. So, yeah, there's there's no reason to go back and forth with the front clip on this one. So, yeah, I think uh, we're about ready to pull off the cab. So, if you guys made it to the end of the uh, this stage of the project, I really appreciate it. Um, next, the next video. We're going to get the cab off and we're going to start uh, final disassembly. So all the trim, all the window mechanisms, the, the dash, everything's got to come apart. So we're going to do all of the sandblasting for the cab, the frame, everything in one day. So we're going to start prepping for that. That's why this was so important, getting figured out what I needed to do. Having it in here, I can see what needs to be done so I can get it done. And again... If you guys made it to the end, I appreciate it. And make sure to uh, hit the bell so that you see the notifications for the rest of this project. This project's gonna be going on for a little bit. I'm really trying to get you at least one video a week on the progress of this truck. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next video.